Hi everyone, I'm going to react to the final episode of season 2 of Psychopath. Psychopath season 2, episode 11. And uh, last episode, my girl, she made me so proud. She figured out what to that it was about. And then come away like Kim the tunnel. And then he fired off the. <sighs> The Dominator at him, I hope he's dead, man. I hope Dogan is dead, man, because I hate him. And before that happened, I kind of gave this uh, a lesson. Oh, no. I don't know. Dol spoke to the brain trust about what they should be doing when it came to Kamui and all that. I don't know if they're going to follow it. I don't even know if that actually understood what she was trying to say to them, but. I'm just like, don't get it, be gone, please. So, before we get into this episode, if you can some, oh yeah, and then they confirm that the uh, grandma's dead. And then Mika said, it's number four, it's number four, it's number four. <sighs> so, before we get into this episode, if you guys have a reaction, just give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And please consider supporting me on Patreon, on Patreon.com slash me. So, let's start this episode, and here we go. Okay guys, in case the reaction gets blocked and I had to cut out the reaction itself, you can just look in the pinned comments in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself, so you can just click on it, watch it, and then you just come back for my review. Cross my fingers that he's dead. Please be dead. Please be dead. And that the guy was not fast enough to kill Kamui. Shoot, it didn't work. Oh no, she was in the front. Akane, get out. Let him shoot him. Right. <laughs> you are so smart. You are so smart. You. Exactly, but that didn't change you. Love you. Stay there. Stay there. Your mother's a disgrace. I am so proud of you. You are so smart. I wish I had. I wish I had your brains, man. Last time I hear this intro. <laughs> what color? Oh, the question. I think I know what the simple system color is. Oh, well, who can we color it? Oh my gosh. Well, I did say something of uh, judging um, Kamui as a collective, or whatever. By you or the brain trust? Cut off your arm. He killed her. Well, I can see used to be clear, right?
Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Cutting the uh, arm off. Or the hand off. Whatever. Be gone. Be gone. Bye bye. I know it's not the whole system, but at least you're gonna be gone. But well, that's just one brain, right? Is it gonna be killing all the brains? It's got any element that increases us. What? Do I get it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Was that, the, that was the guy that he didn't want to see, right? Your mom's dead. Didn't you kill him yourself? Don't let your anger take control. <sighs> you are so ugly. They're gonna kill each other. Oh man, he's still alive. Why are you running away? Why are you running away? Who came? A hundred and ninety nine.
generator. Oh, sorry. Nair. Oh, because of her. There goes that. I was hoping for an app to credit in or maybe I don't know, I guess it to Ghana back or some kind of other that's gonna give me hope for the next season. But no. <sighs> okay. Well I feel like this season was so hard for me to like follow or get or something i love season one way more than i did this season i think season one was easier to follow easier to understand what's going on here it's like i don't know there was a bunch of stuff that i'm like i'm confused <sighs> so When um, I kind of made a proposition in the last um, episode to the civil system about how to deal with Kamui, I have forgotten what that was. But basically what she was asking is that the civil system judge um, Kamui as a collective because that's what he is. He's a brain of a bunch of people, just like the civil system is a collective of brains. And... But then, if they do that, that means they, because the civil system is also like a collective, that means they can be judged as a collective, I guess. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> I'm confused. <sighs> First stuff, last time I was hoping that they were gonna die when um, uh, Kamui shot at him, but no, I kind of was got in the way because since her sacrifice is clear and all that, um, Kamui couldn't kill um, Togane. But then she subdued Togane and like handcuffed him. And then she took Kamui down to where Sybil was. <laughs> Excuse me, but before they actually got to Sybil, the mother who was taking control of Chief. Um, Cassie was waiting for them and then I guess she's the one that gave the order that rescinded the or the um Akane's inspector ship <laughs> she was not an inspector anymore so because of that she um felt like she could take care of her or something or other and then Kamui like faced her like she had the gun pointing at um Akane right and then Kamui got in front of her and then pointed his gun at her and then he was shouting out all these things to make I guess the other brains realize what they should be doing and what they did was they turned around against her man like <sighs> they killed the mother's brain they killed her and then um the system actually like judged 
now they decided to upgrade the, the system or something um so that they can now judge collective groups i guess just like Kamui was and they like they're gonna take take out um brains that actually increases their psychopaths so it seems like all the the brains that are that are in the trust trust brain trust what do i keep saying that that are in the system right the civil system right now the whose psychopath is like elevated they destroy those brains and then now they're like back to zero so they're like okay now they can judge kamui appropriately and then um i kind of pointed the gun at him right at them pointed the gun at them and then he sacrificed with everybody so he was gonna die right and then there was this conversation about why you um can we ask akane why is she not pointing the gun at the civil system and that uh, because um because i think he's saying that because he's a collective and the civil civil is a collective then he can point his gun at them because no, they're both collectives or something. But if someone does not follow the collectives, and really Nakani points the um, gun at the civil system, then they're gonna get like a different color or something or other. And that uh, says something about even if um like even if the system keeps discarding brains, the whole school efficient are elevated. That. <sighs> There are still bound to be some that pop up there. I, I don't know, I'm confused. I am so confused. <laughs> I wish I wasn't, but I'm confused about how all of this is supposed to work. Okay. Yeah, I'm confused about how all of this is supposed to work. But then uh, you have the crazy guy with it, um, Togani. I was like, I have to see my mother. And then they showed that he's the one that killed the mother because the mother was supposed to be joined the, the brain trust. But he killed him because he's like, he, she only belongs to him. And then um, because he did that, because he, he used to be clear. And because he did that, he's like all dark now. So his goal in life is now to darken people's hue. <sighs> so he's like, I have to see my mother. Cut off the arm. The, the hand and then made his way to there and then he saw the mother there his mother's dead body on the floor so it is he lost it and then he went there and then him and Kamui faced each other they both fired the shot um Kamui like died but with a smile on his face and then I guess he accomplished the goal that he's been wanting to accomplish this whole season and then you have um uh, Togani still there and then Togani was still trying to provoke Akane to make her uh psychopaths you know her hue to darken her hue but um have kamui like spoke to her from behind you know like you're just trying to uphold the law or something or other so she she didn't let her anger over you know, overshadow her sense of justice so her hue was still clear and Togari couldn't, like, couldn't deal with that and then he went away it was somewhere there and then mika showed up he's like i have to kill you before so I could keep my psychopaths clear. <sighs> I was hoping that I, there was gonna be something that's gonna make me change my views of her. But you know, this is a character that I do not like. Like I could have done without her this season. She didn't bring anything to this show, to this season for me. Like nothing. I guess she's, I'm gonna say that she's just there to be like a figurehead for how some of the, some people are gonna react to when they actually tell people the truth about the civil system. How they're gonna wanna keep believing in it or something or other, but I don't care about her. So when she pointed the gun at uh, um, Togani and she was about to kill him or something, and then she turned off the gun or the gun turned off by itself, by, by itself. And then she gave the report to Akane that um, Tukani died before she could ad administer justice or something. When she said that, I'm like, that's not true. That wasn't true. Like, the guy was still talking to you. So, in my mind, I'm thinking that he was still alive, but she's keeping it a secret for some reason. But then when I went back and watched the scene again, it's, 
it seems like she was telling the truth and that uh, after um Togari said something about her being like taking on his role now or something or keeping a civil pure uh, of her being coming the new slave or something or other it feels like he died there and that's why she didn't actually shoot him i actually thought that she did she just kept him for some other reason but no he's dead so hey goodbye um what else um Saiga like Sensei, his um I kinda said that his psychopath was on the way to recovery, but he's like, nah, I'm gonna go back to my isolation isolation unit, <laughs> my room. Because I feel like because he was so dependent on um Akane, like it was Akane's influence that was making her his psychopath become I guess clearer on the way to recovery. But I don't know why he will he would wanna have that happen. Uh, yeah he went back and then there's this scene with yayoi in the mika uh, i really don't remember her last name i mean that's how they call her by instead of mika the mika is here only so there was this scene where um yayoi was saying something about um Zogane being the one that leaked the grandmother's location to come with people but then where did he get the information something or other and then Mika was acting like he doesn't know and yeah he was like I'm never gonna forgive whoever did that I feel like Yayori suspects that it was her because when they were um, taking care of um, come with people and then Mika made this excuse about her having a new order and then he, he left. Yeah, you looked at her like she was suspicious of something. So I feel like he's still suspicious of her. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. But that's what I feel like. I feel like he's suspecting her. But can't be sure of that. And then. The civil system because they have discarded all these brains now they'll try to recruit Akane like for real that, that was gonna happen and they said that now that they have decided to judge collectives it's gonna be a while before they implement a new system or something and that now it's gonna be like the collective collective thing is that there may be people that are in the collective that have whose hue are clear but if the collective itself was judged as you know um like a, a lame criminal or something or other then that means that everybody in the collective is gonna die they shoot off the guns so that's gonna create like mass mass um you know, genocide the uh, mass killings and stuff and kuken is like uh, i i decided not to think about it that way <laughs> i'm not gonna be that pessimist but uh, i don't know i guess the next season is gonna be they're gonna have Implemented this new collective thing in the new season. I'm guessing in the third season. Uh, I don't know how that's gonna work out. I don't think there's anything else to, I want to talk about. <sighs> One thing is, I, 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 I don't know. When I saw the first season, the first season, the first episode, I thought I said that I feel like this episode, this episode. This season was gonna be more excited that I'm gonna love this season more than I did the first one. But no. <laughs> first season was my favorite. In large part because the story itself I felt like it was easier to follow than this one. And then the other reason, Kogami's not here. So I'm like as much as as much as I love um, Akane and then um, what's it called uh, as much as love uh, as much as I love Akane and Ginoza there was a bunch of characters that were added to to the season I actually like the, the, the shy the criminal I like him but like I don't know I, I didn't love this season. I did not love it. Nah. 
it was very hard for me to follow everything that was going on so that's probably why i didn't enjoy it as much yeah. like i love the flashes of brilliance not the flashes of brilliance like when i kind of shows her brilliance and everything like i love that i love that about her like she's able to figure out like when she's pushed into a corner she finds another way to deal with the situation she doesn't let the civil system control her and make her make her do what she doesn't want to do so i love that when i see that kind of um brilliance of hers being displayed like i love that but then everything else i'm like yeah 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 so <laughs> sorry if my love of this season was not all that so thank you guys for watching and if you like this reaction please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and if you want to see the very first episode of season three right now you can do so by checking out my patreon at patreon.com slash so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next time and uh, hopefully Ugani is somehow by back is somehow back next season because if it's not, then I feel like next season is not going to be that fun for me either. So.